In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your crunches from Fantasy Cruncher into FanDuel and DraftKings, and then we're going to edit our CSV files. First, I've picked the Game Filter main slate for MLB. I'm going to crunch out 20 quick lineups for this example. Then I will take these, and I'm going to export them. There we go. I'm going to export 926.705. That is the main slate. File opens at the bottom of my browser. I go over to DraftKings, click Lineups. I'm going to Upload Lineups. Right here, upload CSV. There we go. I have 20 lineups for MLB, in which point they are not entered. If you've done this, you are not currently in a contest. You need to enter them still. So you're going to go over to the lobby, click on MLB, find the contest you want to enter. I'll enter something cheap real quick. Hop in the dime time. There we go. I can enter all 20 lineups as quickly as possible just by clicking this button now because I have my 20. There we go, and I've entered. Yay, all right. Now, if you've decided later, so-and-so is scratched, now there's a new pitcher, you need to redo your CSV file. Okay, well, let's go back to DraftKings. We pretend somebody is out, and we'll go over to our pitchers. Maybe John Curtis is out. Maybe some of our pitchers are out here. So we're going to recalculate for 20. I need to get my new file. This is very important. Going to export this file. Here we go. Crunch three. Open it up. Here we go. This is a very blank and bland CSV file. It gives you all the players and the codes that you need. So I'm going to slide that off screen. Go back to DraftKings. I need to edit my CSV file. These lineups are all screwed up here. So I click the lineup button. Click edit entries. Now, this is very important. I have 751 lineups saved for NFL Week 3. I need to slide over to the Pick a Sport MLB tab. Here we go. I have 20 entries right here for the main slate. I'm going to download that. Then I need to open it. And here's where it gets kind of tricky if you've never done this before. Here is my Fantasy Cruncher CSV file. This is the initial one I exported. I'm going to click this top left cell, slide all the way over, hold on to Control, Shift, hit the down arrow. There we go. I've highlighted the whole thing. Control C will copy it. Now we need to go over to my DraftKings CSV, paste it into the top left cell, and you can see all of my lineups were just saved over my DraftKings file. I'm going to save it. I like to close everything out so I have a clean screen. Go back to Upload, and here are my DK entries. These are very important. So I'm going to upload these into, into DraftKings, and this is my new CSV file. So all my lineups are changed. They're edited. All those pictures that got scratched, they all or uh, sore on pitch limits, whatever it might be, I have now uploaded a new CSV file with new pitchers. Now, if you're doing this for FanDuel, same thing applies. Let's get to work. It's slightly different, so we're going to do, again, quick example, 20 lineups. Make sure I'm on the main slate, actually. Rookie move. All right, making 20 lineups on the main slate. All right. Exporting, same thing. Click the Export Lineups tab. Select the slate that you're using. And now FanDuel is actually pretty neat here. You can click MLB, go to your actual contest, and you are able to upload directly into the contest with your CSV you've made. So I'm going to choose a file. This is the FanDuel CSV file I just had. Again, I'll show you again. Double click and boom, click Upload. It'll ask you, do you want to enter these 20 lineups? Here's how much it'll cost you. So I upload the lineups. My slow internet will upload them. There we go. You can click on go to upcoming and you'll see them in there. Now this is where it gets kind of tricky. If you also have other sports in there, as I do. I have NFL, 751 entries here, 1,300 in play. If you're not paying attention, you can get really turned around if you start trying to edit different files. So what I suggest is to go to this tab right here where it says Sports and select the sport you're trying to edit specifically. So let's say later we find out Michael Pineda is scratched. He's not starting anymore. Oh, no, I had so much exposure. I need to edit it. All right, so I've selected the MLB tab in the upcoming page. I'm going to click CSV Edit. Download. A CSV template. Here it is. It just opened. I'll open that up. 
Here we go. This is my FanDuel CSV file. I need to go back to Fantasy Cruncher, take out Michael Pineda. There he is. I'm going to recrunch. I'm going to export these lineups. That's the main slate. Remember, I need to open it now. And we're going to copy exactly what we did with DraftKings. We're going to take our whole sheet here. I showed you another way, drag and copy. And I'm going to paste it in the top left cell. Save the new FanDuel file. And I'm going to upload the new FanDuel file. It's even labeled there for me. FanDuel MLB. Open. Edit 20 entries. Now I have 20 entries without Michael Pineda. You can refresh your page if you don't trust it. Don't you sweat it. He's not there. Luke Weaver is in there. No longer Michael Pineda. You're ready to rock and roll. Good luck, my friends.